What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing Plants vs. Zombies 2, and it's about time I showcase the latest premium plant, it's the Escape Root. You've seen him used in a pinata party before, uh, and in regular gameplay on Modern Day Part 2, but let's read what he does. Escape Roots explode on contact and can be swapped with other, other plants that are in danger. You tap the Escape Root and another plant to swap them. Uh, the other plants put on a big surprise party for Escape Root last week, but he did his thing and suddenly it was a surprise party for them. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be showcasing the escape route uh, across various eras of Plants vs. Zombies 2 We've already seen him in modern day, uh, so we won't bring him there obviously But uh, first we do have a brand new pinata party event to talk about that's just launched check it out It's the luck of the zombie event through March 17th. Let's play the pinata party event uh, You can win lots of gold. Uh, it's in celebration of st. Patrick's Day So let's see what we can do here. Look at all those guys. All right, I'm ready. Ready, set, plant. Yes, I'm ready. Here we go. Electric blueberry. I'm just gonna sit it down. Let them start charging up, and uh, cause you know, and we can slow these guys down too. This might be like just uh, oh look at him, look at him. All right, we're gonna send him back here. Corn going in. Again, you don't know who's gonna attack, but there we go. Pots of gold. All right, what can we do? I don't know. I might set this out just right here. I don't know yet. Freeze him. No, oh, he's gone. Did he use my ice before I did that, though? He did! That scoundrel. Alright, he's frozen now, too. We're gonna have another electric blueberry come out here. Goodbye. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this here, just in case. The charred guard will be in the bottom row. Slow everyone down for a second. I can't stand it when they're going so fast. And uh, we're having a lot of clouds come out here to to, uh, to lay waste to these guys, basically. All right, come on, one step at a time. We have a decent symmetry going on here, but we're gonna have, you know have to do it a little bit better than this. That's for sure. How about do I have ice yet? I do not. Charred guard would look good on there. There you go, buddy. Freeze this guy. That guy's getting a little bit too close for comfort, in my opinion. All right, and then uh, that charge is, of course, broken. Let's fix him up. Let's fix him up big time. Here we go. Well, now I don't know what to do. Um, putting that there. I mean, I definitely don't want to lose out on anything, but there we go. Yikes. Well, we definitely have a big, big thing going on. Kick him back somewhat. There you go. There we go. Watch out. Watch out. This is bad news. All right, slow down everyone, there you go. No one's gonna be taken out so surely. All right, everything's looking good right now. Actually, I should've put that charge guard somewhere else, that's okay. We have a lot of lightning strikes going out. Oh, we are doing it, we are doing it, that's good stuff right there. Pinata party complete, so I'm guessing we get a lot of coins. Uh, let's open up some pinatas and see what actually happens. All right, new costume, awesome. All right, cool. Dude, I'd rather have the, the costume uh, than coins. Anyway, that's for the Dusk Lobber. We will be having individual videos showcasing the Dusk Lobber as well. And um, so, you know, if we take a look at the, um, um, the escape route, we think about, like, what is he good for? I mean, obviously, you know, he's good for explosives. It's like a random explosive that I guess you already have. And since I have all the premium explosives, it really does does quite the deed. Uh, let's take a look at Ancient Egypt, of course. We're going to go way uh, back to the finale here. And we got to think, you know, the cool thing about him is that it basically gives us a mine shaft. If you think about what we have... Uh, whatever they're called, the mine, the mine carts. It basically gives you one of those on demand, um, except anywhere on the map. You can move things around. So if you have something really strong, like a coconut cannon, you can be like, hey, I want to bring in a coconut cannon, something really strong, and move them around. Same thing with Citron. Uh, we've seen that in pinata parties before. We can have the Citron charge up. We can, he can be charged, ready to go. We can move him. We can move him and blast away. So let's see what we can do here. Um, I hope that we pull through uh, with this. Uh, let's see here. Um, not really sure what to do. Um, uh, well, obviously we'll want the escape route, of course. Um, trying to think, you know, in general terms, we could uh, continue on with the latest trend, which was to have um, 
which is to have these nightshades here. And we could do, um, what, what could we do with the nightshades? Um, no, 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 no. Moonflowers, I'm sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. I was doing the thing where I was, uh, where I was imitating the, the moonflowers and getting a lot of things going on with that. So, you know, they, they showed us having, um, you know, we, uh, I'll bring in plant food as well. They showed us having strong things, really expensive things, coconut cannons, um, maybe even winter melons, uh, bringing them in early, switching them around, uh, just really, really expensive things. And again, I don't know if this is going to be the best thing for us. And in fact, I don't even want to do the moonflower because I'm not, why, why would I bring in the moonflower? Let's bring in the primal sunflower. Uh, let's bring in uh, those, sure, I guess, just to have a little basis of attack here. Uh, maybe the Grave Buster, maybe this, maybe that. This seems pretty good to me, right? We have the most expensive things uh, right now, ready to go. Ready to switch out whenever we need. Citron's another good example of that. So would be, um, you know, maybe uh, maybe the Toadstool. But right now we're going to go with this. And we're going to try it out. We're going to see how it works. Hopefully it works quite well. Uh, we're going to go just right on rushing out the, the Primal Sunflower obviously so here we go that's good the zombies all right are coming. The zombies are coming we know this <laughs> gonna freeze them sure there we go and what else oh yeah i forgot we got to use this for sure there we go and you know we could put that there and also wait for him to come and then he'll be explode at the same time but we could we could really hold off on that and uh try to do this there you go of course we're gonna want yeah or or he'll get there and explode that's the other option of course uh so yeah we might just let him do it here we go he's gonna probably explode right there it's just a regular mine and uh, the thing i like about it is obviously when he comes out uh it's fine you know he doesn't have to worry about anything he's just he's ready to go we're gonna dig that down. And uh, so let's start thinking ahead of time now. Uh, we could have a whole column of those things, basically, is what we're, what we're talking about doing, having an, an entire column of those. And then having the really strong stuff out here with time when we save it up, you know? All right, that's good, that's looking good. So there we go, another one of those. I'm gonna go ahead, hey, no, no, you can't have my son. And so yeah, now we're ready for something like this, right? So like, what, what, we put him here, we unleash him, boom, that's done, that's said and done. But we have, we're gonna have to need, we're gonna need more room. We have two more spots left, and so what we would do is we would do the, uh, we would do uh, exactly what we're about to do here. We're about to bring this over here, and he's ready to go, just about, right? So we switch, it's fine. He's here, uh, we unleash, boom. That does a little bit of damage now. Um, obviously, I'm gonna be able to, to freeze him. Uh, just 50 more and I'll be able to, um, here, in fact, let's do it. Let's just have him go. There we go, we're out of plants, obviously. Uh, right now, we still like where everything is placed in general terms. Unleash, boom, hit him, pretty strong. We might wanna move him to a different, different row soon, but right now, this is looking good for us. Um, he's coming along quite well. We can't freeze him. Let's go ahead and boost. There we go. Let's gonna send it all the way back in the back. Boom, explode a whole group of people. Uh, pe I call them people, I mean zombies. These guys aren't people. And we're pretty much done. We can dig up something like this and maybe you know do a plant food. Maybe put in the ice and be ready to, uh, well, we're not ready yet. We could put this here. You know, maybe freeze everything. Uh, but now I'm ready to switch. No, ah, oh, man, I did it wrong. Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and just freeze everything for a second. We'll switch in a second. We want to we want to go to where the bucket head is ultimately, and obviously now I have enough coins to you know put in more cannons, and that might be a good option. We could get rid of some of these, uh, put in more cannons. There you go. Uh, now we can unleash up there. We can uh, click this. Uh, no, let's do let's do this. Click this. How do I do it? I don't know how to do it. What's happened? Uh, all right, hold on. Something's going on. 
What happened? And then if you do this, you could basically put more. Oh no, this is gonna mess it up. I think. I don't know. No, that's fine. Okay, cool. All right. So what needs to happen here? I'm not sure to switch. Is it because of a plant limit? Like, are they limited here? Yeah, I think so. So for whatever reason, since I had the maximum am amount, it wouldn't work. All right, switch them around, please. Hold on. Boom, there we go. And we can do something a little complicated, a little convoluted. We could switch uh, that, that with that. Hurry up, get him out of there. Put that there, and that'll be ready to explode. Cherry bomb, look at that. Boom, boom. So yeah, this is a little, you know, this takes a little bit of micromanagement. Um, definitely so, definitely the case. Um, I would like to go and just freeze him, thank you. I would hope that the, that the one guy would take care of him, but it has not happened like that. All right, so we, we would like to um, do pushback right there. Um, here, let's super that, go all the way back. Swap that. Okay, that just shot it straight up. You can only have one switching at a time, I guess. All right. Um, I'm gonna send that all the way back. Switch those, because we're gonna want that to happen too. Boom, okay. So yeah, it's a little more complicated. I think it's more of a fun plant. It's not necessarily the type of plant that you're just gonna wanna use all the time, in my opinion. Um, but uh, hopefully we get to push this guy back. Freeze him, there we go, he's frozen, and then we're gonna get this going. Boom, so we got him. We got him, right? Okay, cool enough. Let's go ahead and grab that. All right. So that seem, seemed to work, basically. Uh, let's think about what we wanna do next. Oh, and by the way, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you don't know about that by now, you should really know because I am playing this game on my channel. It's doing really well thanks to you guys. So uh, anyway, let's go back in. Let's see what we can do. And uh, let me take some time to think. All right, one thing I wanted to try uh, was taking this into the Wild West. And, you know, Wild West has these mine carts. And I'm curious, I'm simply curious, uh, will that, uh, you know, will it work? Will it work on mine carts? And I, I don't know. I just wanted to test it out on my, on, like, on my own and seeing like what escape route can do for the wild west because we are we're already able to move the plants around obviously but i'm just curious uh you know what will happen you know in certain cases will i be able to move some of the more awesome plants around quickly um we'll see we'll find out i hope so uh but i really don't know i'm gonna keep going with the jurassic marsh plants here um so we'll see we do have to get a lot of money uh, hopefully we can with the uh, with the primal sunflower. I might bring this guy in just in case uh, But in general having having um, the escape route here uh, will provide us with some explosion opportunities and things like that And so what else am I missing? What else like what typically would I want to bring in here? Plant food sure. Let's imitate the plant food. Oh and uh, and this guy the primal pea shooter Let's do it. Let's rock. Let's see if we can make this happen. I'm just curious if we can put them inside the shack. I don't think we can. You know what? I bet we can't because uh, I'm, and I just, I'm just now realizing that because we got to be able to move these. So what's going to happen, you know, if we, um, that's really interesting. Let's find out. Obviously we can go straight up with this. We can freeze them a little bit. Nope. Roots cannot be planted on mine cards, but what does that mean for us in general terms? Can we, can we, Teleport something to a minecart, you know, with the root, you know what I mean? Uh, or, you know, back and forth. Let's put that guy here. We have to make a lot of sun, and hopefully I can. Nope, nope. Can't swap to where they can't be planted. So, yeah, basically on the Wild West type stages. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I guess they're a little bit useful, but I mean, because you can still use them as surprise bombs, basically, but. Uh, again, I say surprise bombs because even we don't know what we're gonna get with those uh, But I think this is gonna be fine um, You just can't have you just can't have a plant mobile, you know, you know what I'm saying so you can't have like a plant mobile like this I'm trying to push these guys back. We're gonna keep going here. These are just gonna be bombs that are like boom surprise Guess what it was a bomb all along. I Don't know though. I might just you know try this like normal and try to try to finish this up. I really don't know Oh yeah, bring him down here. He's gonna need it a little bit. Maybe you too. 
Or maybe his fuse is out now thanks to that plant. Really, the cold snapdragons might be the saving force here. And we're just going to have these as like a backup or something. I don't know. I'm going to keep putting these in to make money, hopefully. Uh, let's see what we can try to pull off. I don't think those guys can jump with so many here. So, yeah, this is mostly nothing. Oh, what happened? Oh, spin no. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, but, well, okay. With that said, what we learned is that, hey, even even with even with that, uh, you know, the minecarts, they don't work on minecarts. So now we know that for sure, and uh, I'm glad we found that out. Uh, I'm trying to test the limits of, of what this plant can do. Let me think a little bit more. All right, here I am at a uh, Jurassic Marsh, day 15, and this is a Save Our Seeds style level. Uh, you gotta survive and protect the endangered plants, and I'm curious, uh, you know, outside of boosting those plants to protect them, can you use escape route on those? And this is just a test to see if you can. If you can, then I'll play it. If you can't, then well, that's a shame. Uh, but let's see what we can do here. I'm bringing out, you know, pretty much uh, everything that I want to do. Uh, let's see, grape shot, sure. And uh, in general, escape route will be good anyway as a buffer just in case. Let's bring in double grape shot. That sounds great to me. Um, so I'm curious. Let's try to see if we can get this out here pretty pretty soon. I'm going to uh, try to do the primal pea shooters and whatnot. But what we want to do is bring those guys way to the back if possible. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna see that right now. Hopefully, we'll see that happen uh, if I can if I can do it. So we have this in the back, and let's see. Can we do it? Hold on. I, I'll wait for him to mature and pop up there. So, all right. Hold on. I know. Hold on. All right. Can we switch? Oh, no, he can't be switched. Darn it. Well, so, yeah, that's another example, then, of um, something that the escape route can't really do. So that's that's tough. Um, okay, well, hey, we can do this. Get rid of him here. here. Shrink down that imp really quick. What we could do is we could put these, like, up front, and since that doesn't really matter too much, then we can do that. We can just keep on up with the economy, you know. So... Um, yeah, we are definitely facing a small crisis. I'll try to, uh, you know, I'll try to just do, yeah, I'll just do this. This is funny enough, right? All right, good enough. So we can't switch them out, but we can put escape routes. They're pretty cheap. Like, it has a chance of being, you know, like a 150 explosion, basically, like a grape shot. With And so you can basically get a chance of a grape shot for like a third of the cost. That's the other thing about the escape route that, to really consider. Uh, so hopefully you guys are considering that. Oh dear, here we go. Let's trunk him down pretty good. Yikes. So we're gonna have some more grape shots right about now. Please, right about now. There you go. Boom. Everyone loves grape shots, don't they? All right. So, uh, what are we going to do now? Um, I'm going to try to get some more guys coming through. Um, uh oh. He's eating that right now. So I'm gonna do a grape shot right now. Nice. All right, nice. Oh boy. Uh, hey, let's do it. We don't want those pterodactyls to carry anyone away, you know? Darn it. Here, shrink away, please. All right, I don't think those pterodactyls have, a, have anyone else to, to deal with, so this is good. I don't think you can pick up the Gargantuar. So let's shrink him down. That shrunk him. Now we're just going to end it. So yeah, we learned something new about the escape route. The, other, the There was something I read. Um, I was looking at the wiki, and I read that uh, that uh, uh, the, the, the force field... Like, if you take a look at the plants... Um, and we're gonna test this out in the far future. If you take a look at the plants, um, like the, the, the infinite, you know, can make a force field. Stuff that makes a force field, apparently, and I don't know if this is every plant, you can still move it and not lose it. So, I think the last test we're gonna do here, um, you know, I don't really, 
I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm just going to bring him into the far future. And I'm going to try to do just a regular little level. Maybe one where you try to get a bunch of coins or something. I don't know. And just, just as a test, I want to see if that holds true. Um, you know, can we swap it out for something, you know, along those lines? So, uh, let me figure out what stage to do, and I'll BRB. All right, this is Far Future uh, Day 18. The only goal is to produce 6,000 sun, but what I want to do is test out the infinite infinite nut and uh, see what we could do here. I, with producing that much sun, obviously, I think we're going to want to... Uh, almost for certain bring in the twin sunflower um, Maybe bring in other stuff that can make sun. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna of course duplicate that We're also going to want to bring in my favorites uh, But definitely the escape route because that's gonna be one of the whole points and then uh, furthermore um, We're gonna we're gonna want to do um, That's fine. Let's do the infinite, you know, let's see what we can do with the infinite Is this enough stuff to do? Let's bring in, instead of the ice, well, no, the ice is good. Um, let's bring it, yeah, let's bring in the ice. This this should be fine. Let's rock with this. I know we don't have anything to shoot them with, really, but we're going to we're gonna see what we can do here. I just want to see, basically, I want to see if I can boost the infinite, swap it, and then it leaves the force field. That's the that's a theory. I don't know if it happens, but I want to see if it works, obviously. So we're going to start like that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I'm going to, of course, want the twin sunflower here because we, we're going to want to you know, boost it to get that money. All right, so let's see what we can do. This might have been too premature here, but I'm going to go ahead and freeze them again. As soon as that plant's ready, there you go. We're going to have a triple delight there. All right. All right, all right, we're good. Oh, I didn't even hit that guy. Oh, he got him that time. Okay, great. All right, so obviously we're going to want to uh, a start like this. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to boost this. And then I want to see, like, if we switch it, does the force field stay? We switched it and the force field stays. So that's a really cool thing to do, I think. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, that allows us to have a force field without, you know, sacrificing the nut. And then we can always move it back later. We can set up explosives behind it with the escape route. So this is a pretty viable strategy, I think. The force field, of course, can get damaged, I would assume. Uh, but right now, we're just gonna do this. Gotta make that money. Come on. We're gonna keep putting escape routes down here. That force field is suffering a little bit. We can always, you know, send the infinite back. I mean, we can even have probably multiple layers of, uh, of things here. There we go. All right, good work so far. I'm gonna focus on that bot swarm coming up. Boom, got a bunch of guys right there. Cherry bomb, that kind of worked. I mean, it did work. Not just kind of, it did work. And here's when we really start crossing over the line. Well, there we go, another explosion there. Um, how do we wanna handle this? Let's freeze this one. Uh, we are going to have enough sun by the time this is over, so we, we've achieved our goal. So I like the fact that we have a thing, but there's nothing really for them to focus on. Check out those guys. We made enough sun. So I'm, I'm happy about this right now. And we're popping up those escape routes behind us, blowing things up again. Oh boy, they're really coming in though. They're really coming in. Oh, don't let them get us. Don't let them get us. Don't let them get us. One of them got us. This is not the best. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Super, there you go. 
And uh, we're about done. This is the final wave coming through. We saw that that shield, I mean, this shield obviously took some damage, but uh, it, you know, held up for the most part. So that's cool. And here we go. Boom. There we go. Nice. Cherry bomb there. I love it. I love how it teleports in explosives. So yeah, you can see that the escape route can be pretty useful. It's a nice way to do a lot of damage really quickly with some of the explosives and, and teleporting explosives around. Uh, it does have it, its pros and cons though. I, I feel like I've adequately showed off the escape route uh, for this episode. Thanks for watching. We're gonna go uh, showcase, uh, we're gonna do I think another plant showcase um, for the, let's see, which ones did I, am, are left? Did I do, okay, I probably need to showcase, um, uh, I don't remember if I've showcased the Dusk Lobber or not, but we also have the Grim Rose. Uh, so, uh, at least the Grim Rose, I don't remember if I've showcased the, the, the Dusk Lobber. If not, I will. See you next time for more. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more of my videos, and if you want to find me on your favorite social network, check the links in the description. And here's Otto. <laughs> That's Egon. Those are my cats.